Okay, welcome to part two of the lengthy title that I cannot remember. And um, I just want to say that here in Montana right now, it is hot, 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 hot. Kind of makes you, you know, it gets that hot, kind of makes you sick to your stomach. But it's a dry heave, so, you know. But anywho, uh, today I am doing the sunset, or the afternoon, I'm sorry, this, the afternoon portion of this sundial using a staff or a stick or what have you. Um, we just passed solar noon, and I have tracked, you know, this morning all the way through. We've just passed solar noon, and we're coming down now to the afternoon portion. And um, I have laid out this uh, tent uh, pole here so that you can better see the line, okay? And um, we're going to follow all the way through, and we're going to see what we come up with, what kind of conclusions we get. Now, I don't, there's no need to really go through and follow every hour because we already know how that's done from uh, part one. So, but what I'm wanting to watch is this as it gets closer to here. Okay, I want to see what happens. So, we'll keep an eye on it and uh, we'll be back with you. Okay, while that's waiting uh, for the afternoon to uh, start to progress, um, I'm going to show you uh, for the uh, nighttime uh, getting your azimuth uh, with Polaris North Star um, and how to determine your latitude with a uh, protractor and two sticks or, or what have you, your staff and another stick. So this will go up or down. I can move it up or down. There'll be another stick right here that will, once I get this, these two sticks, lined up to where Polaris will be tonight okay I'll make sure that stick is secured like this one is and I'll raise or lower this to get the tip of this and the tip of the stick behind it directly in the line tip to tip with Polaris from there I run a string between the top the two tops and I put a protractor on there and that I can get my uh, latitude off of that. And that gives me my angle from where I am on Earth to that star, Polaris. And you can make with that angle a very cool and accurate sundial with that angle at this latitude. So that angle would be uh, I guess you would say, uh, uh, how would you put that? It would be, you know, specially made just for this latitude. Custom. I want to say custom. Custom made with this latitude. So that's the beginning of that. I just wanted to throw that out there really quick. Okay, just so that uh, I can get the evidence on video as to you can understand what I'm talking about so that you can see it in real time. Uh, 2 p.m. is landing really close to the line that was set out from yesterday morning. This is the afternoon side again. As you can see, I have laid out bark, bigger pieces where you can see it as it starts here and goes all the way down to the end. You could tell its zenith was just, it's uh, the I would say the zenith of the height of the arc was before noon. It looks to be at 11 a.m. And it starts its descent at noon and it's really tapering off fast. It's going to end up over here. So I'm going to have to extend the lines out. Like I said yesterday, it's going to end up, uh, in part one I said it's going to end up on this side of, the, of this and I've, I've done it before in the, after, in the uh, fall. But I've never done it in the summer, and it is true all year long, I guess. So it's going to end up over here. So that's that. It's getting closer. So it's 2 p.m. Okay. So, um, 
catch up to you when it reaches the next mark or when it or when it touches the uh, pole okay here we are at wow closest close to the evening oblations as I can see right now it's crossing the line just before 3 p.m. right on the line I laid a stick out down there so you can get I laid it out as I mean straight as I could right with dead center of that stick there it's close and I measured out from the 12th uh, noon mark all the way to the first spot this morning and believe it or not it came out to right exactly eight feet so the nine o'clock morning oblations are right at four feet and so are the evening oblation mark directly at four feet at 3 p.m. and that the shadow is growing this way as it's coming down so it's so close to evening oblations I mean let me measure that again make sure here I got my hang on with me here I want to measure this okay here we go get it right on the line okay you see where four feet is at it's just left of that line that I made that I eyeballed so I was really close really close I'm thinking evening oblations because this pole isn't exactly straight it's pretty doggone close I'm thinking evening oblations occurs when the shadow crosses this line that the pole represents I mean that's I mean I'm only off there's an inch difference there inch or so that's so close you know and it could be that my reading uh, might have shifted okay today from down there I don't know but it's so doggone close it's I can't I can't just dismiss it it's something to try again uh, do it with more accurate measurements next time starting from the beginning I mean yeah I mean with the tape measure I didn't use the tape measure get a accurate accurate reading use something long and really really straight which I do have actually I have some really straight rebar laying here really long so I might be able to use that to lay a perfect line in the dirt that's just too close that's too close to call man I bet if I did it over he'd probably land right on evening oblations 3 p.m. so at 3 p.m. basically it's coming across this ley line here very interesting and if I take a line and go from where it's at now to let's say the morning oblations which are right here morning oblations right there draw a straight line to where it crosses yeah I don't know it's it would be close to knowing what I know it would be close to being right at I don't know true north if I drew a line straight that way from that from that piece right there to where it crosses down there the shadow hmm I'll take a reading tonight because I'm doing I'm doing the uh, Polaris getting your uh, staff lined up with Polaris tonight I'm gonna get a reading an exact reading and see if this doesn't make sense so I'm gonna make a mark right here right there where it crossed okay that way I know where that crossed and uh, keep that in mind so 
I'll keep you updated. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> okay, well, a, uh, as you can see there, 6 p.m. Now, the sun is still up. Okay. But that's because in the morning when I got my reading, the sun was up just like that right there because the sun comes, if you look at the line, okay, it has to come up over that church over there and up, up above there and shine on the stick to cast a shadow before I can take a reading. So <clears throat> it's right up, you know, where it was in the morning, so in the evening. So it works, but as you can see, it comes across comes across I'm gonna try and go slow here it comes across in the evening here to backtrack goes across the line all the way on up and through to the morning the starting point so let me go to the west end here and face east hopefully you can see it there we are you can see the whole thing that's a pretty good shot starting right there Oh, I'm sorry. Starting right there. Let me get a bigger shot here. There we go. You can see that trajectory. That is pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet right there. That's awesome. The next step, I want to do a follow-up on this. Um, because I want to see... I'm going to get really accurate measurements you know from how how long get exactly middle you know and all that get morning oblations right dead on and see if it doesn't match up <clears throat> over here for the evening oblations right here because ladies and gentlemen that is too close to call that's too close to say <laughs> I want to do that over again I want to do it. I want to do it more scientific. This is close. I mean, you get the idea. I mean, everybody gets the idea how this works. And it works out fine. It works out perfectly. <clears throat> and it's simple. You just need something to stick up out of the dirt. So, that is that. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to start over here. We're cutting wood and getting wood for Sukkot actually check this out we got wood man it's all wood split split cut split cut Psh. you ain't gonna have no problem with wood at Sukkot for your fires all right here we go here is the stand for tonight and when the sun goes down, I won't be able to film because this thing doesn't, it's, not, it's no good at night. But I wanted you to get the idea here, what I'm doing. Got this in the ground. Polaris will be right up there somewhere. Right up in there. So I'm going to go get that other pole that I used to lay on the ground for the sundial and I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm gonna stick it in the dirt so I'll be right back and show you well I'm not gonna stick in the dirt because I have to I have to move it in alignment to wherever Polaris is up there first of all and then anchor it right there and then line up the two tips with Polaris so tomorrow morning I'll be back with you and show you in daylight what I come up with Bye.